Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre is aiming for single-digit unemployment figures in the next two quarters. The island has registered record unemployment levels in the first half of 2024 for the first time in a decade plus, according to information from the Central Statistical Office, CSO. According to the Office of the Prime Minister, citing the latest information from CSO, quote, from April to June 2024, the unemployment rate averaged 11.25 percent. This is the lowest Q2 unemployment rate since 2012. The Q2 unemployment rate of 11.25% in 2024 represents a 2% decline compared to the same period in 2023 and is 6.2% lower than the Q2 unemployment rate in 2022. End quote. Pierre believes that the figures can go even lower if there are no unexpected events. You may recall it, I've told you that my aim is to get unemployment to single digits. If the trend continues, if the trend continues, barring any unforeseen circumstance, I believe that Shen Lucia will attain, will, will attain the single digit unemployment rate. If not in the next quarter, the quarter after. I'm very pleased the, with that growth and we hope it continues barring any unforeseen circumstances, which, which I mentioned to you the last time. Prime Minister Pierre attributed the decreasing joblessness numbers to new business ventures, developments, and the growth of the tourism sector. What happens behind the scenes is new businesses. They, they, they create an enabling environment, creating the environment for business to expand, creating the youth economy where young people are given grants, creating the MSME, where, where, where people are given 70% loan and 50% grants, creating an enabling environment as far as incentives are concerned, in that the government does not get involved in the incentive nature. So you don't have to go to a minister's office to wait. These processes and procedures have been hastened, have been clarified. The, the, the prime minister is not the final arbiter when it comes to giving incentives. The New Tourism Development Act has, has, has been passed. There are a number of, of interventions the government has taken to make business more transparent and to make business easier for people. Plus the fact, plus the fact that the economy is benefiting from the expansion of the tourism industry. The Prime Minister announced three new mega-projects in the pipeline, including hotels and malls. He said this will create an additional 500 jobs to help address unemployment. One, the Pope site, the Rodney B. Shopping Center. Work has started on this, on, 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 this, on this project. Number two, two hotels are commencing shortly on Rodney Beach. The lease is going to be signed tomorrow. And the two building, two hotels that are there are going to be demolished. Two new hotels are going to be built on, on, on that side. The two existing hotels are going to be demolished. Number three, the Mont Pinal Hotel. Workers have started on the Mont Pinal Hotel. So hopefully, before the year is ended, we should have more than 500 construction jobs. We should, all, we should also add to the unemployment reduce the unemployment levels. The Prime Minister has indicated that although he is optimistic about the economic gains under his government, he remains cautious about the downside risks that could upend progress. Among his three biggest threats are hurricanes, gun violence and international crises. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.